Yes, welcome back to uh, this end. Uh, so yes, we're joined by Alaji Abubakar Gerema, the national president of IPMAN. He's here with us in the studios. Good morning and thank you for coming on today. Yeah, good morning. So we're talking about averting petrol scarcity, which is something that uh, nobody wants to keep hearing this. And we know that IPMAN is equally as concerned in terms of importing petroleum products, capacity, ensuring that all the other players and regulatory bodies do what they have to do so that we are not faced time and again with shortage of this product. So could you start by telling us what is the current situation now about getting this product available to everybody and Ipman's role in it? Well, you know, just of recent, we have just a small scarcity and that, cast, that scarcity is because of the strike by NATO. That is two days strike. And since the issue is being resolved, actually, if you go through the filling stations today, you will see that there is no scarcity. Most of our petrol stations are waited, and we are waiting for the customers to come and buy the product. Presently, that is what is happening. So, but what is it that we hear that um, Ibman wants improved situation between the NNPC themselves to ensure that the market doesn't suffer any shortage whatsoever? Well, you know, as far as independent petroleum marketers are concerned, we are having presently a good relationship between the Ibman and the NNPC because. Any, any time when they wanted to, to raise or to supply the products, they normally include us, especially in the retail market, whereby when we presented our ticket, we wait for loading, and we presently we are loading our product as when due. So do your members also import the product? We don't normally import the product. The importation of the product is solely behind only an NPC. They are the only people who can be able to import the product presently. Is that because of the laws or capacity? No, it's not because of the law of capacity. It's because of the government policy. Because normally NMPC, they get an exchange rate that they can be able to buy the product. But we independent petroleum marketers, we cannot be able to import. So, IPMAN members cannot get the same rate that the NMPC gets? Yes, really that is what is happening. So has, has this been taken up either with IPMAN or the regular the No, we are, still, we are still negotiating. With who? With the government in such a way that the condition that the... NMPC is getting, we two independent marketers, we are supposed to be having that condition so that we can be able to import the product by ourselves. So are you getting, are your members getting favorable response? Yes, we are getting favorable response because, you know, before, mm -hmm. normally, when they are sharing this product, they only share it to the major marketers in terms of the, in terms of the supply. But now we discussed the NMPC, they mentioned that actually they will be giving us our own quota of the supply. That is, we know, as you know, that we independent petroleum marketers, we cover almost 85% of retail outlets in Nigeria. So now we discussed with the minister, and the minister agreed that he will be giving us our own quota of the supply. What percentage? What, what that quarter, is 50%. Whatever of the Nigerian supply of the supply of the product. 50%? Yes. Who holds the other 50? NMPC? The NMPC and the major marketers and the DAPMAN. Then they will share the remaining 50. So Ipman has a capacity if they give them 50%? Yeah, definitely, because, you know, we are over 30,000 company members. And then we have over 150,000 retail outlets in the country. So automatically, since we are covering almost 85%, so if we get the 50% capacity, definitely you will see even the price of this petroleum product is going to reduce. How? Well, you know, presently, we normally buy through the part, part, third party. party. That mm -hmm. is like to Dapman, major marketers, and even NMPC retail itself. 
Oh, so the reason you're saying that the reason why uh, NNPC retail is the price is lower is because they have the facility that if man don't. Yes. So if man members get that facility, they will resort to the same price or yes. even, even lower. Lower than NNPC? Yes. If we can be able to get it direct, definitely like now, if the PFI is given to the independent petroleum marketers, then automatically when we share it to our members, they will get a lower rate and then we distribute it whereby our members will sell it at a lower rate to the masses. But is there a timeline? Has the government given you a timeline as to when they can agree to this demand that you have made of getting the facility? Yes, we have started negotiating with the, with the Minister of Oil. And he approved that by God grace. He said very soon he will be giving us our PFI. You know, I'm listening and I'm just wondering whether we're actually getting the true picture because um, was it two or three days ago, you actually did hold a press conference about, uh, you know, your relationship with the NNPC. And there were complaints um, from Ipman. That conference was hosted by your body. Isn't, isn't that correct? no. We didn't hold any conference. There was a group that but came up. Yes, you know, that one is just a group. You know, we just recently conducted our election, where, where the whole Nigerians come choose me as the president of the association. But you know, there is one thing in any association, when the association is being conducted, some people will feel like they are being aggrieved. So, in, in fact, as far as the independent petroleum marketers is concerned, we does not have any challenges with the NMPC presently. Okay, so you don't know those people who did that? Uh, yeah, actually, conference. I didn't know them. They are not your members? They are not part of our members. But they used Ipman. Hey, well, you know, just like now, you know when the, like, you know, Ipman is just like in Nigeria, when the election is being conducted, like now, as Bola Tinibu, the election has been conducted, and we know he's the president of the country, and, uh, you know, Obi failed the election together with Atiku. So that is how it is. So still they will say their mind. Obi and Atiku will say their mind. Mm. I, so clearly there are divisions. And it's not like I said, there are people whom you do not know. Are you trying your best? Are you trying to see how you can bring them back to the fold? Because you certainly need to present a united mm. front, don't you? Yeah. Well, they, they spoke about certain challenges. I do not know if your own members are experiencing those challenges. And even within the sector, under this new deregulation uh, uh, era, we know that after the president said, fuel subsidy is gone. Um, a, a, a lot of things began to shift within the sector. Before that time, NNPC was sole importer of petroleum products as a result of subsidy that you know, was being enjoyed by the majority of Nigerians. However, now NMPC says, look, it is now an open buyer, open seller market. Anybody who has the capacity can go and bring in their own uh, petroleum products and they can sell. That's what they have said the situation is. And that they, it is not up to government to give anybody foreign exchange. As a matter of fact, the NMPC says that it has its own access to, the, to foreign exchange because it's also involved in other parts of the market, the upstream sector, it sells crude on behalf of Nigeria, etc. Uh, and that's why it's able to determine its own rate. And so it is not bound by, uh, uh, you know, the, the constraints that other people are bound by. Uh, I do not know how it is that this, um, you know, how will I put it now, these constraints are currently affecting how it is that your members are, at what price they're currently selling their petroleum products. Well, just like what I have said, the NMPC, they are the sole importer now. And we, independent petroleum marketers, we fully rely on them at presently. And actually, if you contact the NMPC, already they said there is no subsidy, which is true. And Mr. President, too, said there is no subsidy. So that is what is going on. And that is the, only, that is the reason why you see the way the system is going now. We independent petroleum marketers, we rely on the NMPC supply presently. You say there's no subsidy, and that is true. But people who have looked at the landing cost of petrol and also the uh, exchange rates differentials say that it does appear that there is now some subsidy somewhere, uh, which, is, which is maybe not exactly 
um, with uh, subsidy paid by government, but in forms of under recovery by the NNPC. So when you said that there is no subsidy, is that a truly correct statement? Yes, definitely. When Mr. President come out, specifically he said there is no subsidy. And then the NNPC too said no subsidy. Then who are you to say that there is subsidy? Yeah, but I'm asking if that's the reality. I mean, if dollar is currently trading at 1,600, at the time when Mr. President made this statement, dollar was still around 750 thereabouts on the parallel market. Uh, but now we understand there's a rate convergence because there was a flo floating of the Naira. Um, and we now understand that, you know, Naira is now doing about one five, one thousand six hundred uh, Naira to the dollar. Um, by the time products land at the port. And that's why it's difficult for your members to import. Isn't that correct? Well, actually, probably it's part of it. But generally, I cannot because there are some issues which I know by the time when all these issues have been solved, we, can, we too we can start importing. How are you hoping that these issues will be solved? Are you hoping It to will be solved now because, you know, Mr. President has already kick-started the program of the CNG, which is an initiated idea by we independent petroleum marketers. The time when they say they will remove the subsidy, we say, okay, it's good. Let the government try to bring another alternative mm -hmm. so that at least the hardship of subsidy will be reduced. And Mr. President has started the program for CNG, whereby just of recent we have done a forum together with the Minister of Gas. We hold a meeting together with him and we write all our submission. We independent petroleum marketers. Mm. So I'm just wondering then, because um, when I listen to, I'm wondering, are you just trying to because I, I know that you know, a lot of Nigerians are watching you, and you, I, as somebody who is very responsible, you have to be careful the things you say on television. That's, that's normal. But are you saying this because you just want to keep the relationship with the NNPC? Or are your members truly going through some difficulties? Because we also know that independent petroleum marketers are not selling at the same rate that the NNPC is selling. We see queues at NNPC filling stations. Meanwhile, a lot of stations are... Uh, you know, are not, uh, uh, they have the products, but their rates are, are different and people are, are not queuing up there. And that is just what I tell you. Mm -hmm. The reason why you have been seeing that queue is because of the price. Mm -hmm. And now we have started discussing this issue together with an NPC that they should give us our allocation direct. And they said they accepted. They will soon start giving us our allocation direct. Did they give you a date? No, actually there is no date, but they said very soon they will give us. So I am expecting maybe probably next week or the other week they will start giving us, whereby you will be seeing Q again in the independent petroleum marketers filling station. Immediately when we get the direct allocation, definitely we are selling maybe a little bit below because when we get the direct allocation through the NNPC, we sell below their rate. Well, what is Ibman's view about the Port Harcourt and Dangote refinery? It's, it's, a, it's a welcome development. We are very happy because immediately when Potapo refinery started production, so definitely it may reduce all this importation that we fully rely on. And then we started purchasing direct through the NMPC. But it's March now, months after the said time that it will kick off the Potaco to one and do you have any information as to when that is going to kick off if it will affect anything? actually we doesn't have an actual time but all what we know is the process so since they have already announced they will kick start very soon we're expecting them mm. because by the time when they started definitely yeah. you will see when you say that if man uh hope i understand you that if man actually initiated the cng idea is yes. that right so wait, do, do, do this, like, if man just muted the idea or because many still haven't seen a lot in terms of availability of the CNG or how many stations have it? What's going on with that? Hey, you know, all this thing is a process. It's not just something that you will just come and start, you say you can start it in one day. So the idea is still going. We have been contacting government we have been telling them our difficulties and they have been listening to us. What do they need Just to like do? NIPCO now. Yeah. The NIPCO has already started conversion 
and they have started even putting the 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 daughter filling stations in some of their filling stations. Is there any Ipman facility that is you know, working aggressively on Yes, CNG? yes. You know Nipco is part of Ipman. Apart from apart from Nipco. It's the same thing now. It's our facility. It's our facility. So Nipco everybody is, everybody is, has to wait for Nipco. Not to wait. You know, since the issue has been kick started in our facility. We too, our members, are going to join that facility and start. We are on the process. We are not sleeping day and night. We are on it. When because do we expect? you know the pain that you see Nigerians are feeling. We too, we are feeling it. Especially we independent marketers. Because most of our filling stations are in remote areas. And there is no market because of the removal of that subsidy. The market is coming down. Therefore, we have to think for another alternative. And that is what we have been doing. Do you check your members so that, I mean, the ones that are in remote areas, probably near the border, do you check to ensure that they're not part of those smuggling fuel out of the country? Smuggling? A registered filling station at the border? You have your filling station? How will you carry their product outside? Yeah, it's only but... those who doesn't have filling station that you are expecting carry their product outside. Well, that's not strange. That's not news. I mean, mm -hmm. this was the practice for many years. People talking about how filling stations that are sighted kilometers with, uh, to yeah. Nigeria's borders mm -hmm. are not exactly filling stations to serve the Nigerian people. They were conduits for siphoning this petrol outside of Nigeria. You, 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 you've not heard that before? I have been hearing about it. But you know you cannot allow you cannot say people they will not say their mind. But in reality, we independent petroleum marketers were as the owners of the filling stations. And you have to discharge it in your filling station and sell the product to the masses. In most of the cases, before even that product comes, you are out of stock. You, you know that there was a time when the NNPC shut down filling stations within certain kilometers of Nigeria's borders. Mm -hmm. You're aware of that time? Yes, I'm aware. And yeah. we, we cooperate with them because what they tell us, they said they are thinking about the insecurity, this and that, this and that. That is just what they have said. Okay. Uh, I do not, not know... Not because we independent marketers are smuggling this product out. An independent marketer will never struggle any product out because he has a filling station. So who are those that smuggle it? Actually, I cannot say. But we have the securities. Because if it's independent petroleum marketers are smuggling this product out, by now you will see them on the paper. Mm. Do your members feel threatened um, by what is currently going on? The uncertainty, because some people have said that there's so much uncertainty mm. with the market, with the Naira volatility um, against the dollar, etc. Do they feel shaken by what is currently happening in the country? No, we are shaken. It's just a situation whereby we are not getting our product direct. That is just our shaking. That, that's the only problem you have. That is the major problem because that we have. I have noticed, I mean, as somebody who, who, who drives uh, quite a bit around the city, even in the city of Abuja, we noticed that quite a number of stations seem to be selling their outlets to the NNPC, or the NNPC is acquiring them, is one of them. The, and a number of them are independent marketers. That is the issue that we wanted to prevent. That is why we are there. So what's making your so, members sell off their stations? Yes, you know, if you are not having the same rate with what your business partner is selling, then you have to think another way. So that is the reason now we put pressure, much pressure, to the NNPC. We say, look, these private depot owners that you have been giving products, they does not have filling station. So you are giving them product, they don't have filling station, we have to go through them and buy the product at an expensive rate. And when we come, we discharge in our filling station, we cannot be able to sell. We said for that, we independent marketers, since we have our filling station, give us this product direct. But NNPC must find somewhere to store its products when mm -hmm. it brings them into the country. It cannot take them directly from the ship to so, filling stations. It has to find a place to discharge them first. That's where this... This yes. private uh, depot owner is coming. Yes, but they can hire it. Then, this, then they tell us we go and pick it there direct. It's the same thing. The, the cost is certainly going to be transferred somewhere. Somebody has to pay those people who own those depots. Which of the cost? We are ready to bear the, any cost. 
provided that we can get the product direct. Because, you know, when we get it direct, we are the owners of the filling station. 85%, I tell you, look at 85%. Is this a small number? It's not a small number. It's a very big number. Okay, my colleague or our colleague Ayo has uh, <laughs> more questions for you. Well, thank you, Malkwe. Just one or two things to raise um, with you, uh, Alaji Garima. Uh, you mentioned the NMDPRA in your press conference as well. Is there a role for them in this uh, melee, in all of the conversations that we are having since you are already charming with the NNPC? How about the NMDPRA and the tariffs that you claim that they add, you know, maybe incessantly, you call the federal government to call them to order? Well, you know, NDPPRA, they are part of our regulators. And uh, just of recent, you know, we contacted them about the issue of our past petroleum equalization payment, the debt that they are owing us. And uh, actually, they try their best because just of recent, they have paid almost getting to 13 billion naira to our marketers even though the rate is more than that, but we just bear with them. They give us a time limit, which they said they can be able to pay us this our money. And then we bring the issue of the renewal of license. We tell them the amount of money that they are putting now for the renewal license is a little bit higher. So they say we should come and meet them so that they can be able to see how they will reduce the rate to us. Hmm. Now, and how one will wonder how that kind of conversation will affect the pump price of fuel. And the conversation, actually, that one will not affect the price of fuel. But the only thing it will encourage, especially in terms of money, it will encourage the marketers to participate in other things that will assist the government. Like this issue of the CNG, you know, immediately when we get our money through the NDPPRA, they pay us all our money. Definitely, we may fully go into the into Mr. President's agenda on CNG because you know that requires a huge amount of money, and uh, you know the only way the government can be able to succeed on this CNG issue till they have the support through the independent petroleum marketers. All right, well, just one more issue from me. I mean, you have also spoken to the fact that you also mentioned at that press conference that a situation where the NNPC is both the major supplier as well as a, a competitor with members of IPMAN is a concern for you. How has that issue been resolved to the extent that it will not affect the pump price of fuel? Do you see a situation where your members will sell at exactly the same price as NNPC fuel stations. Well, you know, we, we didn't hold any press conference at the moment. But the only thing, all what I know, is all what we are looking the NNPC to do for us, let them the way they have been giving major marketers, Moorman and Duffman, and even it. Self NMPC, let them the way they have been giving them product, let them give us product that way through the PF, PFI, so that we too we can buy product through them direct, not to go through the third party. That is our major problem. Mm. So we have no problems with uh, supply. Well, Nigerians should should not fear any disruptions in in, in supply of petrol. Uh, honestly, there is no any problem in terms of the supply. You can go out and see. Most of our independent petroleum marketers has fuel. You go Rano, Ewa and Shafa, all those marketers you go, you will see there is availability, availability of product in their filling station. But the only our major challenge is the cost. 680 sometimes. Well, I cannot specifically mention the rate. But well, I, I can I mention because I've, <laughs> <Okay>. I've seen <laughs> it. <laughs> I, I buy it. But all what I know... <laughs> it's not, it's, the, when I look at it, oh, God. <laughs> all what I know here in, in Abuja, NMPC is selling at the rate of 617. And me, I went to my members in Abuja to start selling this product at the rate of 610 or below. All right. We'll just uh, certainly hope that, uh, I mean, we are greatly... 
positively affected by that geometric power. So optimistic this Friday morning. But I have to thank you for coming on. Except that the CNG, people need a date. They want to know what's going on, when, when, when. Mm. So thank you for coming on. So thank um, you very much. Elijah Abubakar Garima, National President of Ipman.